You're watching Reality Check. When Saurav Ganguly became president of India's cricket board, when he became president of India's cricket board in October last year, that's when he took over. Many welcomed it. It was a rare instance of a cricket player heading the cricket board instead of the usual suspects of politicians or business tycoons. But the cricket icon didn't give up his multi-crore commercial endorsements. Even adding new ones, some believe, after or because he became board president. As Rika Roy reports, very quickly this has escalated into a controversy as the Dada of Indian cricket battles questions of ethics, propriety and conflict of interest with the very board he heads. On 14th of December this year, just over a year after becoming BCCI boss, Saurav Ganguly became brand ambassador for Class Plus, an online teaching app. Many have since pointed out that this was an unusual move given that Baiju's an e-learning app and a potential rival of Class Plus is a BCCI sponsor. Should the BCCI president endorse a rival to the BCCI sponsor? This isn't the only instance. Play with champions. In May 2019, Saurav Ganguly signed up as brand ambassador to My11 Circle, an online sports fantasy league, a rival to Dream11, which in September 2020 paid BCCI 222 crores for the IPL title sponsorship. Despite this, Saurav did not withdraw from his My Circle 11 endorsement, defending his decision in an earlier interview. What about this? Will they call it the con a conflict of interest because Dream 11 is no, it is uh, not. BCCI sponsor? No, it no, is it's not. not. It's BCCI sponsor. It's yeah, and so and actually, if my involvement with uh, if I was involved with Dream 11, then probably I would have been in conflict. Okay, but not with this. There are other ethical grey areas associated with Saurav Ganguly's endorsement of online gaming platforms like My11 Circle. There's a disclaimer on their website that says this game is prone to financial risks and addictive behavior. There's also another line that says in as many as six Indian states, people are prohibited from playing cash contests as there are issues around legality. And then there is this, Ganguly appearing in ads for JSW Cement and is also on the advisory board of Inspire Institute of Sports owned by JSW. This despite an IPL team, Delhi Capitals, co-owned by JSW Sports. The BCCI's rule book has a number of instances of potential conflicts of interest running into seven pages that were introduced in 2018 with the approval of Supreme Court of India. And while technically endorsing a rival brand to a BCCI sponsor doesn't find mention, the rule book does prohibit BCCI members from entering into contracts with entities which have an interest in IPL teams, as with the case of Saurav Ganguly appearing in ads for JSW. We reached out to Saurav Ganguly for his comments and it resulted in a phone call from him. He said he didn't want to appear on camera, but we could quote him on the things he said. He said none of his contracts have any association with the BCCI. He said he's consulted his lawyers and they say there's no conflict of interest. He says most of these endorsements were signed before he became president. He said as in the past, BCCI office bearers have held professions outside the board, like Mr. Srinivasan and Mr. Dalmia, who are businessmen. Just like them, he said, as a former cricketer, his profession is earning through brands. He said he doesn't endorse JSW anymore and that he quit about three to four months ago. He also said Baiju is not in competition with Class Plus. He said Baiju is a student app, 100 times bigger than Class Plus, which is a teacher app. Also, just to point out that JSW, when we checked their website, sort of Ganguly telling us that JSW, he has stopped endorsing it three to four months ago, but as of today, when the show aired, we went to their website and this is what we found. He, or the image of Saurabh Ganguly is still very much there on their home page as a brand ambassador. We reached out to JSW Group as we did to a lot of the others. JSW Group did not respond to our queries. Let's just run you through all the different queries that we reached out to 
and we didn't really get a response. Let's just go through those queries one by one as we put them up on the screen for you. Dream11 said this is an internal BCCI matter. They said we don't have any comments. Class Plus said we are not available for comment. Baiju's also did not respond to our queries. Tri Vikraman Thampi, who's co-founder and CEO of Games 24-7, which is the owner of fantasy platform My11 Circle, which Saurabh Ganguly endorses, sent us this video response. We have no formal or informal relationship with the BCCI. We have derived no benefit whatsoever from the BCCI because of our relationship uh, with Mr. Ganguly. Uh, and certainly, the BCCI has not derived any benefit because of Mr. Ganguly's endorsement of, of my 11th circle. Um, so the question of conflict of interest doesn't even begin to arise. All right, joining us uh, tonight on uh, Reality Check, uh, we have uh, Sharda Ugra, senior cricket journalist, uh, is here with us. We have Ratnakar Shetty, former general manager, BCCI. Uh, we have Trivikraman Tampi, who we just saw, uh, saw there, the owner of the fantasy platform My 11 Circle. And Vidushpat Singhania, he's been a sports lawyer who's uh, represented uh, the BCCI and is also secretary to the Mudgal Commission, which drafted uh, many of the BCCI's guidelines. Thank you all so much for joining us. Now, uh, Shahid Agra, you wrote a great piece about Saurav's, uh, you know, these questions of conflict of interest that Saurav Ganguly is facing. But you also heard his response to us, where he says that, look, I am earning, I'm, I'm you know, like other board presidents have earned in the past. Uh, they've been businessmen. My quote-unquote businesses I earn uh, from my brand. What's what's wrong with that? Um, Sinyasin, you know, when I wrote the piece, uh, fundamentally, it began from the point of view of deep disappointment as to uh, Saurav Ganguly's position. You know, he has been a widely respected, much-loved India captain. Mm. And uh, it's almost like he keeps saying it's not a conflict of interest. Just because he says it's not a conflict of interest doesn't mean it's not. You know, um, Vidushpat, who's on this program, who I also know uh, well, will of course say it's not, and legally there's no such uh, um, uh, sort of issue about it. Yeah. But the whole point is, it's an ethical position, also number one. Secondly, it's a position of does it behove the president of the board to be mm. endorsing products like he was just any normal cricketer endorsing brands? He's the president of the board of cricket. Uh, board of uh, control for cricket in India. Right. It is a it's a very very senior position, and like I said in the piece, it's almost like Bernie Eccleston saying I am going to endorse Pirelli calendars, and but of course Pirelli calendars have nothing to do with uh, Formula One, whereas Pirelli makes tires for Formula One. Right. You know, so uh, it, it is it, it's it's not as easy as just because he says this, it's not happening. You know, it's right. not there. I mean, in cricket, people have a great problem with this conflict of interest. They haven't understood it. Or they don't want to understand it because it just it you run into many issues. Okay. Uh, now, Trivikraman, uh, we heard you there saying that you don't see any any uh, conflict of interest, and in a sense, why would you? Because he's actually endorsing your brand. It's it's the in a sense Dream Eleven, the rival brand which is sponsoring BCCI, which should have problems. But you said that you and I in your longer interview, you said that you selected. Saurabh Ganguly, not because he is BCCI president, but he's an iconic player. Is that correct? That was your that was your contention. Now Th that is right. Now here's the thing. Though. I... Here's the thing. Uh, th that may well be the case with you, but we actually looked at the analysis and we put that up on screen. We looked at what was happening to Saurabh Ganguly's own brand pre BCCI president and post. And it appears, if you put it on screen, it shows you that actually his stock seems to have risen. That he became amongst the top five sports celebrities during the latest IPL season. He wasn't in that top five list in the earlier season. And we can even put up the list and show it to you. So in this IPL season, the top five celebrities were Dhoni, Kohli, Saurav Ganguly, Rohit Sharma and Rishabh Pant. In the previous season, he wasn't there. It was Dhoni, Kohli, Pant, Tendulkar and Yuvraj Singh. So could there be an argument made that it isn't entirely because of his previous iconic status that he's getting brand endorsements, it's also because he's BCCI president? I think there's a, I think you make an, uh, a very interesting observation and I think the, the answer to that is actually fairly simple. Um, 
we were not my 11 circle as a brand was not on television in the previous ipl mm. uh my 11 circle was only on television during this ipl so i think it's going to be terribly hard to separate out the impact of you know mr ganguly appearing on television that often during this ipl we bought a lot of tv inventory during this ipl so i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of that stock that you're talking about is because right. Mr. Ganguly was present in so in many ads, ads and not because Mr. Ganguly is president of BCCI. I see. You're saying that, that, that your own advertisements were so prolific that they may have actually pushed him into these rankings. Wow. That, that is exactly right. I mean, you know, he's, okay. uh, he's been a great brand ambassador for us. We, as you rightly mentioned, we brought him on board because he's an iconic cricketer. I mean, you're talking... 15 years of great cricket history for Mr. Ganguly. Now, no Versus one is... about one year of BCCI presidentship, you know. Okay, no one uh, is taking then... away... No one is taking away from his cricketing record, which is unimpeachable. The question really is, Vidushpat Singhania, is over whether now that he's board president, should he continue to leverage that cricket brand to do ads and get into sponsorships? which are bringing him into conflict of interest. Now, there are some propriety issues with Ushpat, which have to do with endorsing brands that may be rivals to BCCI brands. That may not be illegal. But when he's endorsing JSW, right, which actually owns a cricket team, that directly falls foul of the, uh, the, the BCCI's norms, does it not? The two clarifications, Srinivasan, before I go into depth. First, I've never represented BCCI. Okay. Second, uh, uh, it will always be with the ombudsman, which is appointed by BCCI, to take a final call or decision. Sure. But having said that, let's go into the facts. Right. Now, the BCCI conflict of interest, when it deals with administrators, has about four points where they say that the administrator cannot be involved in I've, a certain commercial. I've read aspects, those. Right? I'm just on the IPL. Right. I'm on of those four. I'm on the IPL clause. So you are on the IPL clause which says that if he has uh, any past or present relationship with any uh, enterprise which is uh, in the IPL franchise, which has been playing IPL, yes. that's what you are referring to, right? Yes. Now that's an aspect that needs to be seen whether his endorsement of JSW, which is, is in existence or not, I think that's a bigger question because you clearly pointed out that that's been terminated a while back. So, is there an existing endorsement or not? That is the first factual aspect that needs to be considered and that has to be determined. Well, even, if it, was, even, if, determined, it was, even if it was cancelled, he said it was three to four months ago. So, that was well after he became president. So, he correct. was still the endorsing JSW even after he became president. Correct. So, that may be the case. The second aspect that needs to be taken, even in the conflict of interest clause which you would have read, there are conflicts which are tractable and there are conflicts which are intractable. Now, tractable conflicts are conflicts which you, when you declare them, you are okay to still continue till the time you declare. The second is the intractable con uh, conflicts, which, which you, uh, where if two positions cannot go together and you cannot act in the uh, both of these together. With all respect, you know, the, let, we, let's not get into too much legalese. It's a very simple question. You are board president. You are endorsing a brand. You are endorsing a company that also owns an IPL team. I mean, it's, it's as clear cut as that. Is that... Is that kosher? Is that not kosher? You're saying the ombudsman so, should decide, but Ratnaka Shetty, um, the, the whole point is there's supposed to be a BCCI ethics officer, If I correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Does one even know whether all of these questions of conflict of interest or questions of propriety are even going before the ethics officer? Yeah, I think so. Uh... Srinivasan, uh, uh, Justice D.K. Jain is the ombudsman, come, I mean, the ethics officer okay. with BCCI. And uh, any complaints that go to him, mm -hmm. I'm sure that he will go through uh, all the required material that is there before him and take a call on that. But what's your take though? I mean, you're a BCCI veteran. You're comfortable with the board president endorsing brands that may that may be potentially questionable, either 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 ethics or propriety or or outright BCCI law. Prof. Shetty? Well, I think it's, uh, you know, what, what, what I look at it is uh, that, uh, in two different ways. One is 
uh, if you go strictly by the rules, there is, uh, he may say that there is nothing in the rules which prevent me from okay. endorsing brands. Uh, but if you are uh, occupying the position as the president of the board, yes, uh, definitely uh, one has to look at what you do and what you don't do because right. uh, that also has an influence on uh, the players who what endorse do you think, uh, different what, brands. What do you think is the right move here? He sh do, should he do these endorsements or should he not? Well, I think uh, uh, Sauro's explanation about JSW is that he, he has uh, no, given no, up. No, no, Prof that, Shetty, uh, I'm not asking uh, for Sauro's explanation. I'm just asking you. You yourself said he's a very influential person. The board president influences millions of fans, cricketers, etc. Do you think it's right or wrong? Simple question. Well, I think uh, if, you, if you ask me, it is, uh, it's, it's, it is, it is not proper. Uh, as the president endorsing brands, uh, which may lead to uh, a conflict with the players tomorrow. Okay. And we may be in an awkward position. Okay. Uh, Sharda, you wanted to come in. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, uh, we, are, we are talking about like uh, 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 Professor Shetty and Vidush were talking about the ombudsman. Uh, there, are, uh, there are some uh, Virat Kohli, there's a complaint about Virat Kohli. Uh, regarding the fact that he is director of two companies, one of which has a connection with the talent management company, mm. that is in uh, uh, you know that is in the pipeline. Um, and the other uh, the other thing is you know uh, so Saurav is basically signed up with uh, uh, he's saying it's not a rival but it's an education app. So he signed up with an education app that sponsors his uh, sponsors the national team uh, um, uniform, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the other thing is like you're saying now what is left, you know? So the, so he's got a there's, uh, plus the IPL title sponsorship. He's he's got a uh, 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 an ad uh, endorsement with that rival sponsor. The only right. sort of logo that's left that he needs to endorse is the kit manufacturers. You know, literally it looks like it it looks it looks really bad. It's and the whole thing about conflict of interest is no one is casting any personal. Uh, any attack it's not an attack on your personal integrity it's sure. just a question of form you know it's just a question of what uh, what is appropriate in in the position that you hold okay and it is a massive position that he holds yes absolutely. and to, to duck off you know water of the ducks back it's uh, it is just if you're you're listening to it and you're saying you know the fact that professor shetty has spoken out and said it's like it's like listening to um, you know, it, you, you can't imagine that anyone connected with the board uh, has. He's, he's the only person I think who's who used to be connected with the board who's, who's spoken out and, and said, "Listen, this is what is. It's not done. Right. It's not kosher. It's not cricket." You know. Okay, but but there's another there's another issue here, Trivikram, and I want to ask you, which is to do also with not just the conflict aspect and conflict of interest of endorsing rival brands, but also which brands you select. Now this this gaming platform that you had my 11 circle correct me if i'm wrong but hasn't this also run into some rough weather from different state governments and even courts which are still trying to figure out what exactly this online gaming is is this a form of perhaps you know proxy gambling and i believe your own website says there are six indian states where people are prohibited from playing in your cash context as there are issues about the legality yeah so uh let me, let me, I just want to quickly kind of respond to the point that Ms. Ugra raised, uh, you know, first before I answer your question. Yes. Uh, I think you have to draw a distinction between Saurav Ganguly, the individual who's a celebrity for whom, you know, endorsements are a way of like basically earning livelihood mm -hmm. and Saurav Ganguly, the BCCI president, which is an honorary post and we all know doesn't pay. Uh, and so I think that that distinction needs to be drawn clearly. And as far as my 11 circle is concerned, I'm not aware of other brands. Our our relationship with Mr. Ganguly, you know, predates his presidentship with BCCI. So, we, as you rightly pointed out, you know, hired him as you know, pointed him as brand ambassador in April of 2019, and he became president in October of 2019. No, no, that's fine. That's uh, fine. So, he could have he could have had endorsements even before he became president, and he had every right to. The question is. Once he becomes president, and especially when the BCCI starts to sign on with brands which may be rivals to those brands, does he continue to associate with those brands or does he withdraw? But moving, leaving that aside, coming back to my question about the questions over online gaming sites like yours. 
right and, so and, on and, that, and, the, and the restrictions that certain state governments seem to have placed so so shrinivasan i think that's a kind of a natural course of evolution for uh, a lot of new industries that you will see if you look to the us for instance and you go back a few years uh, fantasy sports in the us ran through some very similar regulatory issues in the us a number of states moved to stop fantasy sports sure uh, there was a lot of confusion around it there was a lot of bad press that happened around fantasy sports but what what would you say would you say that it, it is a form of betting or gambling no it's not it's definitely not gambling i mean you can you don't you don't have to ask me that you can okay. look to the the rajasthan and uh, you know high court you can look to the punjab and haryana high court you can okay. look to bcci's endorsement of fantasy sports you can look to the us federal government you can even look to researchers at you know at top in academic institutions which have said that fantasy sports is a game of skill so okay i would say absolutely not and i think eventually fantasy sports is going to get the same recognition in okay. india that, so, that it has so got so fair enough you're saying it's 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 a that there it is at the moment still a gray area in india it's being contested uh, there may be clarity Again, and, and some of the clarity is again, already starting to come with okay. the with the Niti Aayog draft report that has come okay, out recently. Okay, but again, Vidush Pat. All right, again, Vidush Pat. Not on the point of legality, but on again on ethics and propriety. Should a board president be endorsing a platform or a or a or a portal or a form of online sports, whatever you call it, which is still in this grey area? So what is and in which the is getting area? pushed back? Also, so what? what is in the gray area fantasy sports if it is being offered free it's not in the gray area it's a game of skill it can be offered pan india it is only when it comes to fantasy sports for money yes. that certain states have classified it as gambling and certain most some other states have said it is outside the ambit of gambling yes. so we are only talking about money now when we look at sort of that we'll have to see whether he's actually endorsing money games or he's just endorsing the brand or the platform Like if he's just the platform may the be platform. doing all the platform may be doing everything they may be doing money they may not be doing uh so they may be doing it so, free but the fact is he's endorsing it right he's endorsing the whole correct, thing so, correct so now if it's a see we have to also understand if it's keeping the people engaged if it is not gambling if the law does not say it is gambling then why should it not be allowed but as you so yourself in, said in, in, some in, in, states what? are saying it is and some states aren't my point is that these are clearly gray areas again someone in that position because with that position comes responsibility comes authority right and comes Correct. with a certain no, public persona so do you want absolutely. to do you want to get into that space i think that's a every individual decision but on a legal front as you i think thumpy is also pointed out and you also enumerated that you know it is allowed it is not illegal now after a point of time everybody has to decide what right. uh, is within their kosher what is not kosher with them okay and uh, say somebody may not want to promote uh, maybe uh, a water ad or somebody may not want to promote uh, right. you know it could be anything so it's just on your philosophy you can't push your philosophy on somebody else really okay last word sharda what, what do you how do you see this play out um I, you know i think basically that uh, the, the the question of uh, uh, saurav ganguly is very very similar like i said in the piece to sebastian ko who's the head of world athletics and he was literally in this in a similar situation uh, there was pressure put on him to stand down from his position as a nike ambassador so okay. as we can see sports stars have a problem with these things i don't think the uh, issue of uh, of uh, sort of remuneration and finance needs to get into this because i don't think saurav ganguly is is in need of uh, money requires money or whatever you know there is just a uh, yes the the position of bcci president is an honorary position but it's a uh, position of great importance right. and great prominence in world cricket you know so i think that position has to be respected uh, more than uh, you know or, or, or doing ads for waters and uh, whatever else the ads are coming out for all right okay interesting we'll have to leave it there ladies and gentlemen We're completely out of time. Thank you so much for joining me on Reality Check and thanks so much for watching. Good night.